What's going on everybody? This is Lemon Drop 14 and I'm back for one more race this week on the Motorsports Manager NASCAR mod. Now, last race was a bit of a redemption arc for Carl Edwards. If you missed two episodes ago, uh, we had a really good strategy in Dubai and I managed to mess it up by not paying attention. He had to stop and wait in the pits for Dale to get done and it really ruined uh, the, the strategy. But the very next race, I was able to implement the strategy and actually go through with it and got Carl to win. So that's what we want to do uh, from now on is get people wins. Uh, but for now, we're going to the Phoenix GP. I don't know what track this is. It's not the Oval. I know that much. Let's get it started in her. <laughs> you guys remember that song? Let's get it started. Anyway, <clears throat> I, uh, I won't sing. I promise. I might. Anyway, tire choice. Let's put you on medium, sir. Why are we both on softs here? Why are we being biased towards the softs? Eh? Tell me. You go. Qualifying trim. Go. I say go. Yum, yum, yum. All right. Boogie, boogie. All right, a couple of good laps for us there. So Dale wants the ballast to go towards the front, and Carl wants taller gears. Let's see if we can give them exactly what they're wanting. So towards the front. Let's give them some understeer, maybe. Way more towards the front then. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Carl. Good and okay and okay. Alright, let's see how that works. Pretty much did the same adjustments for both of them. Alright, Dale likes the tweaks. And yep, they both are they're both loving the setup changes. Good fast lap by Dale. Speed balance seems to have gotten worse. So we're not out of the woods yet. All right, so let's try this setup. Um, I think we need to go to race trim, though. Yeah, we should do race trim. All right. It's all an excellent and a good. Or is that a great up there? A great, an excellent, and a poor. Let's change that a little bit. Turn that frown upside down there, Mr. Carl Edwards. Race trim as well. And we'll see what Dale says. If he starts liking the changes, uh, I'm going to keep him out. If he starts complaining pretty much immediately, then, uh, okay, good. Feels better now. I was going to say, if he starts complaining right away, then I'll just pull him right back in and just see uh, what, what, the, what to change. Wow, oh, everyone seems to love it. Oh, goodness, I'm so great. Final minute of practice. Oh, I need to save. Duh. Woohoo. I don't think I'm going to be able to get level 3 race trim, though, which is kind of a bummer. Looks like we're going to finish up 2nd and 8th in uh, practice. Not bad. Trevor Bain and uh, Stenhouse did not do stellar. I think they were both in the top 10, though. Uh, no, both top 15. Soft qualifying. Soft qualifying. What was that other one he's got now? Oh, it removes the red zones. But don't really care about that right now. Ooh, look at those setups. Those are great. Let's save it. Perfect. Why not? I'll save his. I mean, I don't really know if I'm ever going to go back to these. I probably should, honestly, but I don't know. I'll probably forget. Carl. Go, go, Carl Edwards. Junior setting a good pace right now. Yeah. Ooh, Johnny Salter knocked him off, though, before he gets back into the pits. Yay. Yeah, we're not having good, uh, good setups here. Not setups, I guess. I need to hurry up and get him back out there, though. We need to have one more turn, because I really want to get, uh, I want to complete this sponsor objective, obviously. 
I know Carl didn't have a perfect lap. Um, so I think we'll be good. Yeah, here we go. Carl's got clear track ahead of him. I think he'll be good. He's setting personal best right now, so that's what we're really worried about. I'm going to save right now, though. It looks like Dale is on personal best lap uh, pace also, which means, I think... Yeah. No, he's not. He fell off second. Second part of the lap. Sixth place. Carl is going to jump to fourth place. Awesome. So we do have some speedsters back here, like Crafton and Byron. Are definitely possible to knock Carl down a couple spots, but that'll still keep him in the top seven. Crafton did not. Uh, Byron, I'm more worried about than Endfinger. Ooh, nope, just shy. Knocked D uh, Dale down to eighth, though, and then down to ninth. Okay. Cole Witt, of all people, came up and put... Wow. Cole Witt put Carl down to fifth. All right. Okay, Cole Witt. Cruddy thing is, now Ricky just gained a bonus point in the championship, which is stinky poo-poo. No one likes that. <sighs> but it'll be okay, I suppose. Let's take a peek here. What's the car set up today? Tire choice, we've got 24 to 26 and 41. Wow, it's only a 48 lap race. Holy smokes. We're doing the strategy again. Okay, so, who am I on? Dale. <clears throat> Put him on mediums, and he's going to run two fuel windows. Carl is going to do the opposite. <clears throat> he's going to run um, the two fuel windows on the last two runs of the race. So, yeah, so Dale needs to uh, not change tires. What? Oh, I need bonuses. Duh. Duh. Medium and race trim for him. Honestly, I'm going to do the same for Carl. Because we're going to be on mediums more than we are softs. So hopefully this doesn't blow up in my face. But I am liking this uh, strategy, though. I am enjoying it. It seems like the computer tries to do that. But for some reason, they don't. It's like they don't... I don't know. It's like they think they put tires on every time. Or they have to or something. But anyway. Green flag racing! Now again, I'm just going to let these guys kind of settle and all that stuff after the first five or six laps. After it all settles in, we're going to make sure Dale does not burn his tires up consistently. Because we want to hold on to those tires as long as we can. Alright, so I'm letting them all just kind of hang out here. Dale is comfortable in fifth. Carl just got his way up into seventh. So everything looks good right now. The pack really is not very spread out. Oh no, Brendan Pewterbach cut a corner and then he gets the fastest lap. <laughs> oh gee, how'd you do that? <laughs> what was your strategy for such a fast lap? Cut to corners. Duh. I wonder what kind of a penalty he's going to levy for that one. All I know is our boys are running up here. I need to pay attention to laps too because I don't want to screw ourselves up again. Honestly, you can go there and go there. Okay, so now I'm going to set Carl up to pit. He is going to go onto the mediums now and fill up. Honestly, he's going to go to overtake mode. I don't really care if he passes Dale necessarily. I just want him to have as fast lap as he can here. There we go. Now Dale needs to be set up to go. Not touching his tires. Filling him up. And we are good to go. See how this pit stop goes. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Awesome. Perfect. And he's good to go tear it up a little bit now. Dale's coming into the pits right now. Hopefully we get no whammies again. Because he's just getting fuel. Awesome. Perfect, flawless, flawless victory. Alright, now we're good to go. Honestly, I can turn the engine mode up. Because uh, we're going to be like eight laps to the good on fuel uh, if we just fill it up again. So we'll be, we've got more than enough to burn off here. 
All right, so we have settled out through the pit stops, and we are currently first and second. Check that out. Yeah, and both of our driver forms are in the nines, pretty much. That's crazy. That almost never happens on purpose. Carl's setting some really fast laps. Like, really fast laps. Oh, but he didn't get the fastest lap. Here we go. He's improving every single lap. Man, he keeps missing it, though. Oh, well. I say we set Dale up to do a fast lap. Oh, fine. No, you're fine on your, your fuel levels, you big wuss. Because we're getting 20 laps to a run. There's 20 laps left. We're getting 20 laps on a tank of fuel. You're fine, Carl. To his point, I don't think we could have ran that. Well, I don't know. We could, we're probably fine, dude. Calm down. Big wuss. <laughs> Watch me say that, and then we just, like, get screwed at the end. <laughs> Everyone's just a little bit worried about it, according to the team. I'm not worried about the fuel at all, though. Uh, I think we have proven we can run a pretty strategic fuel run. Or fuel race, rather. Now, Carl, next time he passes the pits, which is right now. Let's set him up. No tires. Filling him up. 17 laps remain. And we'll have... Yep, perfect. Everything's good. Let's do it, baby. Wow, he's at a 9.8 on his driver form. That's awesome. 9.9. .9. Oh, here comes 10. Or not. Whatever. And I can go ahead and set Dale up to pit. 16 laps remain. So, man, it's tempting to try and get all the laps on these tires. But that's not going to happen, I don't believe. So, I think it is going to be smart, though, to go on the softs here. Fill it up. Everything looks fine. Good to go. No whammies on the pit stop. We didn't get a single whammy. Overtake mode. Stand on it. I also want him in overtake mode. And on push. For when he comes out. Hopefully we don't have any issues here. No whammies. Perfect. Now go, 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 go. So we are 11th and 12th. With 14 laps to go. I think we will end up being just fine, though. Christopher Bell setting new sector speeds. Struggling to overtake Earnhardt. Don't worry about that. You both are running perfect 10 driver forms right now. And people in front of us are pitting. We're, like, sitting stupid pretty right now. I can only hope... Oh, Pewterbox got a big issue. Can't get past Earnhardt. It's fine, dude. Don't worry about Earnhardt. Just drive your race. So yeah, but uh, Trevor Bain is still uh, currently running first. Gonna have to pit soon. There it is. Awesome. Yeah, that put Bain way on back to where? Where is he at? Where is he at? Only 8th place. Kind of was hoping for more than that, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Good clean racing between teammates. I like it. Yep. Let's turn you guys down to medium, though, because I don't want you running out of fuel. That would be embarrassing. Man, both these guys are running perfect tens right now. See what's crazy to me? Edwards is pulling away from Dale. I know, like, driver skill and stuff comes into play. But he's on medium, so... Well, yeah, but he's got the performance boost on mediums. So I don't know. But I'm pretty much sold as a medium guy on this track. Definitely not on shirt size. <laughs> Five laps remaining. So I'm going to make it a little bit spicy here. There's like five laps remaining. Four or three laps actually. So I turned up Dale. Uh, his fuel intake to see if we can get a really close finish. I don't think we're going to though. Don't believe that's going to be the case today. Although he has shaved a second off the time. He's going to have to cool his tires off. So let's just back everything down. Back her down. Back her down. Looking for a smooth 1-2 finish. And just like that. 1-2 finish. That's awesome. Awesome possum. Man, that guy, they both had perfect driver forms. That's so cool. So cool. Hurry up and get this over with, though. Yeah, Edwards with another win this year. Man, he is tearing it up this year. So is Dale, honestly. 
If we were getting this kind of performance out of Sam, I wouldn't have looked to replace him. But we weren't, so. <laughs> Dale's the man. There we go. 20 and 19 points. So, uh, yeah. Good race. Good race. So we gained uh, two points overall as a team on Roush Finway. What? What's up with... What's this? Is that dodgy neck since when? I didn't know. Anyway. Yeah, but Carl stretched out his lead over Trevor to 20 points now. Ooh, Stenhouse Jr. did jump uh, past Matt Crafton, though. Yeah, but we are now 27 points ahead of Roush. Whoa. What happened? Why is his fitness down a thousand percent? Because of his dodgy neck? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Got a bit of a dodgy neck. Home race winner says morale is through the roof. Lost a hundred grand? Not bad. For a one-two finish, I'll take that. All right, well, that is going to do it for this race and episode. Anyway, so, hey, if you guys like what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, this is going to be a Friday episode, so I hope you guys have a good weekend. If it's not a Friday episode and I'm screwing up the numbers in my head, whoopsie doodles. But anyway, I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.